these fights are moving along, obviously we have to look at all the different pieces still in play. A lot of matches haven't even really gotten underway. And a lot of people haven't even really seen combat, like, whatsoever. I've been mean, really outside of Haku, Wendy, Karen, and Laxus, nobody's really done much. I mean, you count Sigourney and the Madmole, but it's like, we haven't really seen anything from them. It's just kind of on off screen. So it's, I mean, I guess that's one of those ones you can kind of give or take in terms of, uh, you know, where you want to put it. But for right now, the whole setup with Laxus and Karen, I think, is the most intriguing fight right now. I personally don't think Haku's defeated. I think Haku's going to get back up next chapter. Because I don't think that he's going to be in a state where he can't fight anymore, he can't do anything. I think it's going to be one of those where he's just going to accept what happened as a loss, and he's going to help Wendy in, you know, doing whatever, you know, pretty much everything Wendy requires of him as, like, things are moving forward. We'll see, though. I mean, he could be unconscious. Uh, well, he didn't take Wendy as seriously as he should have. That is just a huge factor that can screw somebody over in a fight. Uh, everybody doesn't even probably think of the characters like that, where they just don't take their opponent seriously enough, and that ends up, you know, screwing them over. Obviously, Natsu got that in Ellen tier from Suzaku. But, as of right now, the questions with Kirin, I think right now, like, the biggest things with him is obviously, like, what's going on in Guild Arts, you know, that weird kind of, like, feeling that Lactus had, that he was, like, the various magic to Guild Arts, as well as, who's the soul inside of the coffin? There's a lot of different people it could be, considering there's a lot of people with the title of King in Fairy Tale that are now dead. But, personally, I, I, like, I did a video on it, and I, I personally think, and this is just my guess, this is the safest route, if it's not, like, Guild Arts or Acnologia or for whatever reason, uh, is that it is the dragon that Kirin ate to gain his dragon slaying abilities. Because I think that would make sense if he killed it, ate it, but then trapped its soul in this coffin so it could use it as a weapon. All of the Dragon Ears, at least so far, out of the Dark Dragon Science, have had some form of accessory. Suzaku had his sword, Haku has his coat, Kirin seems to have his coffin, so I'm guessing there's going to be some plot significance to his coffin, as well as, otherwise, what's the point of mentioning the whole King Soul inside? Uh, with the other fights, I would assume with Haku down that Natsu and Lucy are going to go back to normal. Or it'll be like a way that like if Haku is relatively fine and still able to fight, he'll undo it because Wendy won like Wendy, you know, quote unquote won the fight and he'll just give it to her. So, you know, the, they'll get fixed and then we'll see how their fight's gonna go. Because I mean, I would assume with a 2v2, they would go up either against Misaki and Kiria, but I again I still feel like that's gonna be Urza and Grey. And then Natsu against Suzaku again. I, I actually still really like the idea of like Natsu fighting Suzaku, but and, and Lucy doing like support casting in the back, being able to just do what she can. Obviously, she can't fight Suzaku, but she should be able to still lend aid and assist in a fight where he's not directly attacking her. But with the other ones, Godzilla is still like a big question mark. I don't really know like exactly what's gonna go on with him because as of right now, Scully on a Mad Mole are down. Uh, logically, as I said, the, the best one-on-one -on -one opponent for, say, like, Lucy this arc is Kyria for Great Skullion. Obviously, like, the other characters have theirs matched up right now. And I would assume that Ursus is going to be with Misaki. But again, that's just a question mark that, you know, you're going to have to wait to unfold. But when you think about it like that, because I think it makes sense. When you think about all the characters right now, Natsu Suzaku, Kirin Laxus, Haku Wendy, uh... Misaki Urza, Skullion Grey, Kyria, Lucy, and then Gajil Madmul, but it's like, we gotta wait for them to get back up, and obviously he's hurt right now, but I mean, he should be able to repair. I actually would really like it if we saw him eating some armor to regain magic and stamina, like literally him just eating the remnants of some adventurer's armor that was like scattered in, uh, you know, one of the labyrinth ca catacombs and pathways. I think that'd be really cool. And then it would make me wonder if Skolion's going to eat, like, a corpse, or he's going to eat ash, or what. But, either way, like, there, there's a lot of stuff right now that's up and coming. I think that the the reveal on whoever the soul is that Kieran has is, like, one of the more intriguing subplots. Because we know that, like, a lot of the bigger stuff isn't going to happen until the later portions of the arc, when they find, like, the heart, when, like, the more serious battles are going to start to, like, kick out, and, like, characters are going to be getting into way more aggressive confrontations. It's, like, Kieran and Laxus has been, like, obviously, like, in Kieran's favor, and Kieran's been beaten up on Laxus, but it hasn't been, 
It hasn't like had nearly as much focus, and it's mostly just been Lax is getting smacked around, which is still a thing, but it's like it hasn't gotten to the point where it looks like it's gonna get brutal, like how Dragon Slayer fights usually t end up getting to. Again, like you did an example, because it was recent, Nibel, uh, I guess Nibaru and the officials against Wendy. Like it started out not too crazy, but by the end of their fight, they're like throwing heavy punches, and he's just completely dominating her up until the point where. She's like when he started doing enchantment stuff or like I read and stuff. But either way, Kieran, Kieran right now, like I said, hype stocks. I mean, he's just been on the rise of quality and like his interest. But right now, the question is going to be like, I think that he's going to be the one to be shown next chapter, our main focus, because none of the other fights are going on. Uh, we could get again follow up on Wendy and Haku because I, I, I'd like to know the status of Haku. But out of all the other characters, the other characters that would be fight set up, whereas like this is the only one that we could go directly into to see a fight going on. So I guess we're going to see more Laxus and Kirin like as soon as we get back to the next chapter, chapter 99. And then maybe chapter 100. I would assume chapter 100 we're going to get some big, important like uh, reveal of some kind considering it's chapter 100. Uh, what, what day is that real quick? Just the last thing I want to look up before uh, before the the stream is over or stream before the video is over 25th that feels like a while but i mean that's still a month so it's gonna be hype either way comment below thumbs up to do a friend like button subscribe button check out my other videos but in that every channel we start subscribe thank you all for listening bye